Welcome everyone to another video. And today we're continuing on from the last tugboat only video and we're starting with some bad news. After we finished off the last time I did a little bit more and I came back on and we'd been raided. Everything we worked for last time, gone. But this time, like we said in the last video, I'll be coming back stronger and ready for revenge. But to do that, we have to get started again. Meaning, it's time to go farm, supermarket. So, I farm supermarket to get at least some gear back, some components, some resources. Because I had basically nothing left. All oh, my boxes have been destroyed, I don't think I'd left for forges. I think my workbench is still there. Then I have to make one of them again. This is the same as every other starting growth, just farming barrels, boxes and recycling everything that I can. Try and get some resources back to start with. And of course it was night time. So I couldn't see a thing without my torch on. But after I've been supermarket, I went to Oxen's to farm some more. But little did I know what I would find when I got here. So I started off farming just boxes and stuff again, getting food to heal up and fill my hunger up, just in case I got into some fight. So we're gonna recycle any bits I got. So after checking every room, doing the usual stuff, I stumbled across something. In this little cave underneath the garage of Oxens, there was someone AFK. And it happened to be the person that raided me. And yes, I knew who raided me. So we're not having any weapons, I snuck back out and made a spear. Could there still be an AFK? I did what anyone would do. Stabbed them in the face. With a spear. Multiple times. Until they collapsed at the floor. Giving me all the loot. This got me back on a strong foot. And got myself ready to continue. After that fortunate event, which, fortunately, but it's never happened to I went to some farm to so so because I was still low on resources. I did this by outpost so I could be safer. After that, I went out to sea because it was time for me to log off for the night. And I thought the safest place would be out of the sea, away from all the islands. So that will be done for the day. Next day, something happened. <laughs> yeah, something always happens. But something good happened. And it's going to be a long, long clip. So I'm going to try and talk bits in between and leave some to play. But we found a tugboat. It was driving back into shore. And we found a tugboat. Sat next to the island. Not sure who it was. But, the pirate inside me decided it was time to do some explosion, to exploding. So, swam across the boat, to have a look around, see what it was like. But of course, all the windows were covered, so I couldn't see anything. I thought this had a bit of charcoal with that. Went up top, helicopter flying by. I got stuck on the stupid ladder. <laughs> Couldn't see through any of these windows. Looked inside. Couldn't see anything in there. Because I'm blind. Check the barbecue, more charcoal. And decided it's time to make things go boom. So I went back to my boat and got the little explosives that I had which would be enough to get inside the boat the T4, the satchels and bean cans 
and um, for some reason I decided to pause the game so I could pull the tab out and make sure the recording's going because I don't have any problems with the recording randomly stopping because I click a button or something it makes it stop. Anyway, after checking all that, it was time for the boom. Well, it's time for the boom. It's time for the boom. Any time now. Any time. There we go, well done Wolf. Time for the boom. See far on, and I run away. And boom one, boom two, and boom three. There goes all the C4. And we go check it out. And of course, the shotgun truck right in the doorway. <laughs> Nearly kills me. So look at what I've got. Just sort out the situation. Because I need to get to that shotgun trap. Instead of pointing to the other side of the boat. I decided to go around the other side of the boat because it's not pointing that way. Hoping that I could blow it up somehow. I got some explosive left over. So I thought about it. I thought might be better off to use the satchels. So I was checking to see if there was a shotgun drop on the other side before I inevitably killed myself again because I'm good at doing that. Well, I don't know why I kept pausing the game. Don't judge, please. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I'm just going to skip this part. Okay. I threw a single satchel through the door, which blew it more or less instantly, which was lucky I ran away. And that was enough to get the shotgun trap at the doorway. I'm afraid to run it. After I threw some more satchel, because I didn't destroy it, because I'm, I'm just blind. But playing. One exploded, one was a dud. Which luckily for me means I get one satchel back. Ah, that was another shotgun trap that killed me. Yeah, I should really watch what I'm doing, shouldn't I? I don't know. Anyway, travel back to the boat. Got my gear back. Right. Still had a satchel left. And all my weapons chucked out the rock and the torch that were in my way. And threw the satchel down. This one took a while, so go boom. Don't be a dud. And it was a dud. So I went back in and shot my trap tires. Well, no, it didn't hit me, at least. Well, this time I know why I paused. I paused because someone that I know plays in a server also wanted a little bit of revenge, so I agreed. As they brought some explosives themselves, to some Molotovs or something, to break the boxes at the back, then we could share stuff out. Like I said, this server is friendly and all, they're not like official and all that way, you just kill everyone on site. Sometimes you do, depends what mood you're in. But we're all friends and having a bit of fun on Rust. Because we people that have all day to play unofficial. So after I'd done that, I brought my boat around and parked right next to the boat. Because everything I believed was clear. So I went inside the boat to have a look around. And I'd already broken some boxes. And oh my lord, look at the loot. That is one box. And it's full of components, resources, and everything you could ever wish for. This was an amazing start. And we've only broke, god, this is only the first box. Let's so go. Naturally, I just took absolutely everything I could. And took it back over to my boat. Whilst, because you can I run out of explosives apart from that one bean can. And they still had the respawn point there, and I chance to log online. So I wanted to make sure I get as much across as I can as quickly as possible. 
And we were sort out after with the bring in the Elite Plus to finish the raid. After. But that's already half a box filled. With one box. Um, it's going to be epic. Had to go through some stuff. We found. Stuff and last time, apart from the pumpkins, he had him in the um, cockpit, still offline. Take what you take what you want out of him if you want. I got his stuff last and time. And <laughs> person I was playing with decided to show up as well. And we burnt the place out. But now I'm just going to dump everything see. in my boxes for now to have it. There's there a box full of frags, frags and high quality. Take what you want then. Like I said, at the moment we were just focused. Yeah, I'm looking for my stuff. On getting the stuff. I don't. I say. I, don't, I have. All I have. All I have is. Um, I'm sorry for talking over myself. I'm talking uh, to in game. I'll let you look for the rest of the stuff. <laughs> it might be in the locker. Maybe I can make some satchels like for it. Uh, uh, full of gunpowder gun and yeah, sulfur. Yeah, I'm saying I can make a lot of satchels for it if you want. Need a gunpowder. Really, so far we have one, two, three, four boxes of stuff. Not full, but trust me, they'll be full soon. After we've gone through everything, we would sorted out between us, and all these boxes, five of them and a small one was full of stuff from the raid. He was rich. After that I headed to train yard. Just to have a look around because it's one of the monuments I haven't really been to much. At this point anyway. And once we arrived I got some food. Cause and some shots fired. Not at me, but in train yard. Oh, but we've also split up a bit ways with the other person there. So, we're back to being the solo pirate. Our agreement had been done. And look who sat there. I landed my shot carefully. And didn't shoot because for some reason I was scared to shoot. <laughs> Don't know why I was scared to shoot. Maybe I just didn't want to be seen yet. I want to see what was happening. Seeing if there were more people than one person here. But I peeked up again. And Dan shots fired at me. <laughs> so I should have took the shot earlier. But look at five, exchanged some shots, had some bandages and some food to heal that I picked up on the way. So we could continue. Hopefully, not dying. I was still, he was still up there. Uh, I was still watching the area. Wasn't sure where, but I knew we were up there. Obviously, you'd assume he'd be in the building because that's where he'd been the whole time. Knew he was still alive because the door was open and it's shut now. But I saw someone peeking. Down the corner of my eye, barely saw him. So once he peeked, so shot, shot again. And then you hit the headshot to connect. So I meet the ground straight up there to see what there was. After checking, he was down, which you could see at the top of the hill. I did see he was down, so I charged through a train yard to see what was there. Hopping over everything because I couldn't just run around, I had to jump up. Got we climbed to see what we'd gotten. And he wasn't a tire, he was dead. So you have to worry about him getting up. And it was the person we were just raiding with. Had a crossbow and a. S and yeah. S. S. R. S. R. Can't speak. S. R. After that victory, I just went back to my boat and set up a little airlock system with a shotgun trap to hopefully dissuade people from going in because they have to roll through the door and then if they walk through the door they get shot by a shotgun trap because they could walk straight through or wood through that. But after this, I did a cargo run because cargo ship had arrived. It was quite easy, not much happened. Nice and peaceful for once, everyone must have been scared, knew I was there. Totally was scared. But nothing could go wrong, right? Nothing at all would go wrong, just driving back to my own boat. Why would I even show you this part? Because I wouldn't be stupid, nothing would go wrong at all, would there? Totally not be sarcastic at all. 
a nice drive back to the boat. What would happen? I suppose someone could shoot you. Maybe. No, I decided it would be smart to click space bar. And off drive the boat. On its own. So I went back to my own tugboat and off on the rescue mission to find where it drove off to. I explored the islands, the harbour, everywhere nearby. But after they couldn't find it, I decided to head back to where I jumped off of it. And I looked to my right. And what do I see just out in the middle of the water? My boat. So I go back and I regain everything from the cargo ship. And my own equipment as well. Because I've died multiple times. Okay, let's try and get stuff back. Do exactly this. Oh, the parachute. Okay. I'm assuming the parachute activated him somehow, That's killing me. Even though I wasn't in the air or anything. Smart me. Anyway, it was time for some revenge of my own. So at the end of the last video, you saw I was chasing this pirate boat around. And they were still driving around, thinking they knew best. So I decided to teach them a lesson. Whoa, I'm reloading. So, again, the chase was on. Exchanging shots. And this time, I had fuel. So, I shouldn't run out of it. I had a thousand. Ow. Well, they were doing quite a bit of damage to me. There were four of them. One of me. And turrets as well on their side. I killed a couple. There was two left. One on the top, one at the front. Headshots. Getting shot myself. Missing because I'm somehow missing okay, easy shots in the world. Of and of also hit firing doesn't work either. It was also night time. I believe night time. Names me not my fault. It's Ooh, night time. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, and then the turrets were right out my door, so it blasted me in the face. So it was time to heal. And yep, I've run out of fuel as well. So I went down for fuel. Wow, I'm literally because oh, no, I didn't keep it up on my body, obviously just in case something happened. <laughs> Not really and I had loads of fuel left over. And I went back out. And they're gone. I somehow oh, managed to lose them. The why I was looking at the map because I've just panicking did manage to somehow just disappear completely from my view. I'm still worrying about the map, I don't know why I'm flinging around the map. <laughs> huh? But they disappeared. I managed to lose them again. But this time, I wasn't giving up. I went around the whole map and found them again the next day. And again. It was time to exchange gunfire because I needed to kill the guards on the ship. And then I could board them. Kill, <laughs> sorry. But luckily, enough doing this, because I got better with the bolter. So I was hitting a bit more, still missing a lot, but I'm hitting more shots. But I learnt a tactic as well, that if I ground the right in front of the ship, I could block them from moving a little bit, because it would slow them down at least anyway. Because we're close, I decided to try my double barrel, sorry, my blunderbuss, because I got the pirate skins. And if you didn't know as well, my weapons were the musket which was the bolter, double barrel, which was the blunderbust, and the flintlock pistol, the Eoka. I tried to stay as much of the pirate thing as possible for this, because I obviously this episode is all about becoming a pirate. So I've taken over someone's boat, boat killed no, someone, no, and now we're taking over another boat. Down. And we killed the person on the back. And we took the other person off the top. There was only one person left on the boat. But they were behind a door. So I used my flintlock to wait for the door, along with my blunderbuss. To smash through the door. And then we time to kill the driver. One blunderbuss to the face. Reloading. And another two takes him down. Captain the ship down, leaving the control of the boat to me. I can stop the boat now. And take over the rest of it. So another door to break through, this time I flint got, got through it. And inside, there's a surprise waiting for me. There's a turret and one more person. So, how do I deal with all this stuff? There's a turret in there. 
So, I went back to my own boat to gather some stuff. Some explosive power. So there's no way I would take an auto turret without explosive power. So we bean cans and satchels I had left over. There was one turret, one box, and one person. So I went with the satchels, I peeked the door, obviously gonna get hit, chucked the satchel in. I waited for the boom. And there goes the boom. I heard stuff break with meaning. The turret was down, so was the box. It was still the person in there. Well, the ship was starting to self-destruct. I just shut the wall as well, because smart. And we got a new weapon and a load of ammo and attachments. This was me, time to go before the boat sank. Because if you can see, I would, well, I would look and see if I can destroy the turrets to get stuff out of there, but you can see at the top there's a fire. So I wasn't staying there any longer than I had to. The whole front of the ship was on fire. The time for me to bail with free loot. That's two enemies of my pirate to venture down. It's time to escape. For now. And go into hiding for a bit. Next, I decided to go have some fun in the launch site. As you can hear, I was... Bradley was about. I was trying to sneak around so I could get to the building to be able to blow him up. So I thought, why not? If I can take down Bradley, that would just prove, yet again, that I was one of the stronger people. On the pirate seas. So I headed to the building in the middle of Launch site, failing to climb up the ladder, the easiest thing in the game probably, and took to the roof, where I got my rocket launcher out, and rockets, and fired at Bradley. It would take a few to take it out, so here we go. That last rocket that nearly killed me destroyed Bradley as well. So after a bit of time of the waiting for the loot to get out of fire. And boy, was there a loot. Some attachments, some resources, some rockets. Not the right rockets. But some rockets. Some ammo and some stuff to recycle. Still not the right rockets. Which was annoying. Um still not the right rockets. We've got some high some batteries we used to destroy him, but we also got some in fire ones as well, which was useless. But after that, I received word that there were some land dwellers decided to set up bases, which isn't allowed, as you know. So I took it into my own hands to deal with them, or some of them anyway, to show who's boss around here. So after using my musket and my blunderbuss, I took out the people on the ground that was trying to charge towards me. Make sure these two weapons show the show of the moves, boss. Two shots to the head. And they smacking me with a sword and a neo and a flintlock to the face. Took out the other guy. So now one last person with a gun. But obviously, I need to heal. Because I'm not risking dying to these land people. Whoever they think they are. After reloading all my butt guns as well to make sure. I couldn't get caught by surprise. I always had to have my guns ready for action. It was time to take on the strongest defender of this base. The guy with the gun. Sniper versus machine gun. Which shouldn't be allowed again. He's pirates. Our muskets. The superior gun. If I can hit my shots anyway, I'm just terrible, okay? Leave me alone. 
He would do more damage to me than I would do to him, but I had healing. Boom, headshot. Took him out. So now the base was defenseless. Unless there was anything hiding inside. On the outside, it was defenseless. The people weren't ready for it. So I took my clothes that I had. It was time to make entry. After I decided where to go into, because the doors are stronger than you think in this. Help. We get that's to help with talk about raiding. I need to make him a bit weaker. A bit stronger, because all we've got is doors and the airlock. After the breaking period, I decided to blow for this wall. A bad decision on my end, which you'll see in a bit. And not long after that, the game said to die on me. So I came back, recovered myself, and decided to blow through this wall as well. Because this is the place where it was either that corner or this corner where the TC was, which was the main goal. We got some loot from the box that we got to before. But obviously, I wanted it all. So I, used, I didn't have the proper rockets yet. So I was using high velocity ones, which do very little damage to walls but it's all I had so the many many rockets the wall was getting weaker and weaker obviously I went so I decided I was going to blow through the wall with my guns to save rockets because I didn't have many left of but that one more couldn't hurt obviously as well because <laughs> I couldn't make my mind up one more rocket. And the wall fell. And it was time for the best part. Fire! Burn the place to the ground. Not the place, but the stuff inside to the ground. Couldn't offer as a TC because it was locked. So, obviously, fire it was. Burn everything inside. Two Molotovs to break the boxes. And the TC. Which means all I had was the box up top left. But I had to wait for the fire to grow. I like fire, but I don't want to set myself on fire. So I just sat there and watched it burn. And after the fire had gone out, I went in to loot what was there. Got some good resources from the TC. Got some attachments and some med kits from one box. Some more ammo and some normal rockets from that box, but it was too late now to be able to learn them and craft them. But there were still more people to deal with. So I just ate a load of berries as a reward for my victory. Filled me up full. Health and water too. After that base was done I found another base. This time in the desert. So we've come from a cold place to a hot place. After looking at this wall, deciding where to blow in from, I decided this side would be best. Hopefully find some stuff. So here we go, time to make things go boom. With actual rockets this time, and satchels. So we'll lock it and satchels with time to make it go boom.
I also had a horse as well, right there. Because the horse would help me jump up into the wall besides there was a half wall that I needed to get over as well. I didn't have the explosive to blow through with both walls, so I chose one and went for it. I said just took forever to blow up as well this time. <laughs> The wall was quite damaged, so very moron. I'm waiting for them to explode, weaken the wall significantly. All I had left was rockets, high velocity ones at that. So off they went to blow up the door, the wall, the door, the black, the wall. God. Why can't I speak? After that, we just used some more rockets until the wall fell, eventually. So after the rockets were fired, I decided to use explosive ammo besides I want much health left to save on explosive. And there goes the wall. If this is going to be a long clip, let's do this. So as I'm going through that, I got my good old fire out and burnt what I could. I was hoping this time to see if you could play, replace the TC and claim the base to save on explosives and stuff, but we'll see if that works later. So I have to double check if everything was working, because that's normally what I pause the game for. I paused the game a lot apparently in this episode. I got my fire out and set the base alight and burnt myself in the process. I had to get some boxes and TZ and stuff to try and get myself some room to get in the base. Obviously I could see shotgun trap as well so I'm hoping the Molotov would deal with that as well. My Molotov down. But another one needed to get rid of the box. I thought until I saw the health, so I decided to blow up the box with my gun. And now it was time for Horse to get involved. It was the only way for me to get up. Not with Cowboy's companions, but you work for me. And the shotgun truck was there. Bang. The uh, shotgun trucks were there shooting me from above as well. Somehow I was dodging them. As you can see, they are trying to shoot me. I could also see some more on the floor as well. There were shotgun trucks everywhere in this base. It wasn't very useful, but I had rockets and gun, so I tried shooting them, as you can see, but he didn't seem to be doing much at all. I was trying to place the TC down, but obviously I couldn't get an angle to get in to place it, and you can't place it on walls and stuff. So they're trying to jump up the shotgun jets for going off. You can't place it on the floor where the bags are either. I was taking hits from that. I had a medkit though to help me out from the last base. After trying some more of my flames and that not working, I decided to back off with the horse and use some explosive power of the rockets. Oh, the rocket. And boom, there goes all the shotgun traps in my way. Apart from the ones on the floor, but we'll have to worry about them in a bit. So I brought the horse back over so I could jump into the base to see what I've got so far and to see if I could place the TC down as well so I didn't have to worry about the traps because I could claim ownership with the base. Obviously I can't jump on a horse either because I keep falling off of it. And you can't place a TC in these bases. So there goes that idea. But never fear, I can still loot the base. There was still stuff to be looted. And I have some rockets if need be to get rid of them as well. Those things I don't want to blow myself up.
Yeah, to the beacon. I could just go out and get up there. We each had some metal ore in it. I fell down to get the stuff out of the TC. And there was the shotgun traps. I crouched down and one was shooting. But luckily I stood here, they couldn't shoot me unless I crouched. So I stood here and tried to go with a plan. I had a Molotov left and an explosive. So I threw my Molotov into there. Hitting myself in the process. But it gave me some room because it got into the box as well. I also threw the grenade in as well to see if I'd do anything. So I stood back, waiting for the explosion for the fire to go out. But the shotgun traps were still standing. So I decided to try and shoot them. But they were still standing. God, these shotgun traps are strong without explosives to deal with them. Well, they had grenades. Rather than many, many attempts of shooting it, it wouldn't go down. And I fell into that giant loot this box. And the shotgun basically killed me. But after that, I managed to destroy the other shotgun shot with the tur with the turrets, the shotgun shot with the rockets, even, and I could loot the first few boxes. And luckily, there's some pumpkins for me to eat. And also, I've got something I've been looking for the whole wipe, the bean coffee can helmet, because that's part of my pirate outfit. But I had most of it, and the black thing. As so I move forward, and the shotgun shot shoot me again, nearly killing me. You freaking lied to me. Because the sugar traps like to kill me in this. Well, there was no way for me to be able to reach without the thing shooting me. But I brought a flamethrower that I looted from here. And wanted to see if that would do anything. Because it's more fire. I didn't think it would do anything. But. So I had to try anyway. And it shot me in the face. How the hell are you going to do that then? Again, I came back because I wasn't going to let some land base kill me. And I used another rocket to destroy the shotgun trap. And I got some more booty, loot, and food. And I was quite satisfied that I'd shown the pirates and the land people who was boss around here. And I succeeded in my mission in becoming a pirate. So that's all for me today. It's time to leave this land to go on another adventure. But where will we end up next wipe? It's spooky month. So it's time to get spooky. Thank you everyone for watching. Just see you all next time. But before we go, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And if you would like to join in, in these adventures, so far we've done this tugboat and next wipe, you can say spooky month. Please join the discord of the server below. And I've also been told that this tugboat server will be kept up at some point again as a side server from the main one. So if you want to ride around just living in tugboats with the stuff that you saw in this video, make sure to join this discord as well and you'll find out information from when as and when it comes up. Also join my Discord as well, then might be doing some events and stuff at some point. Especially with ASA coming out. But again, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you again next week. For the spooky season.